what would be kind of the traditionally understood origins of Hinduism and how it kind of has grown throughout history? Okay, that's a very easy question to answer. We have no idea. <laughs> Seriously, we have, there is speculation. What we understand is that throughout prehistory, many animistic, primitive tribal religions evolved in what was then ancient India. Now, of course, modern India has different borders than ancient India. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they evolved, they, they seemed to develop certain commonalities. And at one point, I can't tell you when, these movements started to look like Hinduism. Now, there are still tribal religions in India. I have been with uh, some of these communities and they still maintain the ancient religions of their forebears and did not get uh, swallowed into, that's perhaps, it sounds pejorative, but I don't mean it to be, uh, swallowed into what is known as Hinduism. So they, uh, they, they maintain the, these ancient practices and beliefs uh, and uh, concurrent with what, what is really considered Hinduism. We know that a lot of the development of what is called Hinduism happened in uh, the Indus Valley. Interestingly, during the partition, if, if people are not aware, in 1947, India became two countries. It became the Republic of India and it became uh, the, Isl I believe it was the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. So Pakistan is officially a Muslim country. India is officially a secular country with a Hindu majority, of course, mm -hmm. but also a, a very large and vibrant Muslim population along with Christians and others. Uh, and if you look at a map with, with the Indus Valley outlined, most of that valley, the, 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 the foundational heartland of Hinduism a few thousand years ago is actually in Pakistan now. Hmm. So again, when I talk of ancient India, I'm talking about the landmass that was uh, all the way part of Afghanistan, Pakistan, modern day India, Sri Lanka, and Bangladesh. All of that was hmm. ancient India. Um, we don't have a founder. So there's, there's another thing for you. There, there is not one person that we look to and say he or she founded Hinduism. So all, yes, we, all we know is that certain stories came down from antiquity. Certain theologies and philosophies came down through history and people started making sense of that. And mm -hmm. it, it became an umbrella religion with many, many different sects, movements, and denominations. It is considered to be the world's oldest uh, major religion. So there may be indigenous religions around the world, uh, such as uh, the American Indian religions, uh, uh, Pacific Islander religions. They, they may be the same age or older, but of the major religions, uh, Hinduism is the oldest. Oh, <laughs>